It's really rare in the NBA that a prospect comes out of nowhere. It just doesn't happen very often. And that's who Chris is. He's a fighter. That's who Chris Boucher is. story could change people's life. Big year for Chris Boucher. So much expectation. I want to make it to the NBA. Chris Boucher, he was never supposed to make it. And I tell him that a lot. I was like, I look at your story. You were not supposed to be here. You could have easily been doing something else that would have been negative. You know, you could have been dead or something. I was born in St. Lucia. We moved out to Canada because my dad was living there. That was a big change in my life. And like, I was in poverty too, so, you know, around drugs, crime and all that. Like, I never had something to like push me. It was just hard for me to find something that I could put my focus on. Everything he was going through, being homeless to, you know, not going to school, I don't think that's what most kids at 16 years old want to be going through. Chris went through a period, you know, where he just was kind of on his own. He had some tough years there trying to figure out what he wanted to do. For me, discovering basketball was a little different just because I hadn't played when I was young. I started playing when I was 18, 19. I met a lot of people that was playing basketball in leagues and they just end up being like, you know what, you got talent and invited me to tournaments. We just didn't believe it, that there was a six, eight kid walking around that nobody knew about. I saw this game and this team was getting blown out. But then this one lanky guy who would score all the points from Maison des Jeunes, even though they're losing like 50, he still got 40 points. So I called my brother, I said, I think I found a gem. I remember calling me like, yo, you gotta come to the gym because <laughs> there's something special out here. And I don't think nobody knows about it. When I got the chance to talk to Chris, I'm like, hey, so what do you do? He's like, I work. I'm like, okay, so do you want to change that situation? between his freshman and sophomore year in junior college. We saw him quite a bit and made a decision to, to recruit him late. When we got him here, we knew we had a, a unique player, but we had no idea how good he would be. His development, his competitiveness, he made himself a Division I player. The Ducks last year, 13 and five in the Pac-12, 26 and 10 overall. Kind of went the tough route. My first game at Oregon was really something special for me, just because for the first time in my life I was doing something that nobody really thought I was going to be able to do. No doubt, he left an impression not just on me, but you know anybody who was in the gym that day. Now we know who Chris Boucher is. You know, my mom called me before and was like, I could see on TV. It was just so special for me just because I didn't realize how much people can love you just because of what you're doing. I 
A talent like Chris is definitely rare. I think that's one of the reasons why they, they started coming with the name Unicorn. His ability to block shots at a high level and make threes, that combination is pretty rare. His first year there, he just stunned the whole world. I know a lot of people weren't expecting him to have the season he did. Come from a JC, people don't really, you know, make an impact like the way he make an impact. When I went to Oregon, that's really when I was like, I want to make it to the NBA. I got the Sports Illustrated magazine. When that came out, I was like, okay, well, I'm really becoming somebody, and then everything changed from there. His confidence level is sky high. Maybe it was the Sports Illustrated cover, uh, but he seems prepared for an even better season than last year. That bodes well for the Ducks. When he got injured, it was really a blow to our team, not only his production on the floor, uh, but what he meant to all his teammates. The injury was definitely, definitely the biggest blow of his life. For a thin frame guy, he never used to get hurt. Was uh, kick in the stomach when I got the call from the team doctor saying that he had torn his ACL. Philadelphia 76ers select Markel Fultz from the University of Washington with the seventh pick in the 2017 NBA Draft. With the 13th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft. With the 30th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft. The Utah Jazz select Josh Hart from Villanova University. The way his life is, a lot of stuff has been taken away from him. So to take that away from him there, my only prayer is that he would be strong enough to get back up from that blow. Chris keep telling me, Mom, I'm telling you, it's not good. That was really hard for me. I just felt like maybe basketball was over. I got a torn ACL. Who's going to try to get me to play for their team if I'm hurt? I felt bad, but not as bad as it's over. Yes, you injured. Fight it. Don't let nothing stop you. We're talking about a kid who came from nothing. So he brought a certain demeanor that he's not going to be stopped. I didn't expect the words to be like, you know, we want to give you a two-way. And that really gave me confidence in coming back because that means they really see potential in me. It tells you a little bit about his toughness, a little bit about his competitiveness. Chris gives us something different. We don't have a guy who can shoot from range and also protect the rim. These are kind of rare skill sets in general, but we like the ability to play a lot of different styles, and, and certainly that is, is an interest of ours in, in Chris. I was telling him it's crazy how you went from, you know, our gym in Alma to now. You see Steph Curry, you see Draymond Green, you see Kevin Durant. Having a guy like Kevin Durant to mentor him, I think it, it was definitely big. 
You know, he's final MVP and all that, and still goes to the gym every day trying to make him better. You know, who am I to not go in the gym and try to get better? I didn't do anything yet. We understand that he's got to come back from this injury. It's been a long road. I know there was a lot of frustration for him along the way. I got a torn ACL. Who can who try to get me in to play for their team? I want to make it to the NBA. I'm coming for everything that they said I couldn't get, you know, especially when I got hurt. A lot of people was like, when it's over, well, I know it's not. Christopher is determined. One thing he is, determination. And when he wants something, he'll fight to get it. I think because of his unique abilities to run the floor, block shots, and, and hit some threes, I do think he can find a role and, and play for a number of years. We're going to go to 52 and 16. Already have more losses than they did. For what he's been through for his age, it's a lot for a kid. And that's why I'm so proud of him, because it's, it's not easy. Chris Boucher, this is his NBA debut. He tore his TCL healthy recently. He's been playing very well in the G League. He's the only player in tactical history in a single season to have 100 blocks and 35 threes. Where he's at right now and where he's going to be in the future, because I think he's going to have a great career. People are going to be like, oh, you're so lucky. No, he wasn't lucky. He, he worked hard and went through a whole lot of stuff. I think that is the biggest thing, is match your work ethic with your dream.